This morning I had a dryer fire. This is the third dryer fire I've had in, I am blinded by my own phone. I got this Hero 11 and I'm blinded by it, but this is the third dryer fire I've had in 13 years of owning laundromats. I have successfully now had a dryer fire at each laundromat I own with this one. That is not really something you want to have happen. It happens. Not a lot you can do about it. I'm going to tell you why this has happened to me. These dryers are big. They're 30 pounders. They're not huge. But what happens, and I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to turn the light off because that's going to just be annoying. What happens is, is no, the normal load should be about to here, to the center. So it can tumble and air can flow through it. What happens is people decide to pack it all the way to the top. And I have been here numerous times that I have seen these dryers turning and they are so loaded the doors popping open. What happens is your exhaust fan, your exhaust fan cannot get the heat in the center of that dryer out fast enough. So what happens is it builds up with more and more heat. It's still pumping more heat in. And then what happens is the clothes don't really catch on fire. And I'm gonna get the video from this, but they start to smolder. And what this guy did was he saw a flame once in a blue moon. Didn't see a lot of flames, but he saw that. So he ran over here to the bathroom with a little cup. And it's right there. He took that cup off that table and he tried to put it out. When he opened the door, he had all that fuel in there. All the clothes that had plastic in it, whatever. And you got that heat. The air rushed in as fast as it could, just like the movie Backdraft. And the flames went poof. And they probably almost knocked the guy over. I haven't seen the video yet. I'm going to watch it. But they went up. And if you notice above that dryer, they melted that plastic sign. They got the top of the dryer hot. The reason is, is because these flames are shooting out and up so fast. Now, what saved this laundromat? What saved this laundromat is concrete block walls, metal, metal studs, insulation that's fireproof, fire rated drywall on the back side. Everything here is built to withstand the heat, especially that wall. Now there is drywall over here and there's two by fours behind this metal, but we never planned on having any fires over in this corner. Like dryers are a totally different monkey. They can produce so much heat and so much flame so fast that it will crawl up whatever you have above them. And in my video way back, my other laundromat, I, the whole room was gutted because it had a false ceiling. It had a, uh, ceiling tiles. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm, I'm tired. It's late. I've been up a long day, long time today already. And what the fire did is it climbed up the wall and then it went to the ceiling and it just spread. And it'll take off. It'll take off so fast the fire department won't have time to get there to put it out. This building though, like I said, this is a concrete deck ceiling. This is actually an old flat roof building with a wood A-frame structure on top of it. There is no way for this place to burn down. This place could catch, have a gas leak and maybe explode, but there's no way for this place to burn down. Even if they hadn't got here sooner or later, that dryer fire would have actually put itself out. Now this whole thing would have been full of smoke, which it was, but it would have put itself out. If the guy would have left the door shut, it also would have put itself out slowly. It would have filled the place up with smoke, but it would have put itself out. I asked him, you know, it's not his fault. Well, it is kind of his fault. He put it on two hours and he didn't know what he was doing. The guy that actually had the problem was mentally challenged, okay? He was mentally retarded, special needs, whatever. Well, I don't wanna piss people off on that one. I, I'm old school and old. I'm not meaning in a bad way, but special needs. Hopefully that solves that problem. And he didn't even know his own phone number when I got here. His parents dropped him off, told him to do the laundry, and they left. And he's like probably in his mid-40s, and he didn't know what to do. And I felt really bad. I gave him money for his clothes and stuff. And his parents snuck in here, grabbed him while we were talking to the firefighters, and they took off. They didn't want to be interviewed. They didn't want any questions. They didn't want anything. So I don't know what quite was going on with that, but nice guy, he really felt bad. It's not the end of the world. I've been through this before. I'm gonna rip those two dryers out, one and one next to it, and we're gonna just go ahead and put more pole barn metal, the pole barn metal along there, 
and we'll be fine. We'll actually wipe all this down in the next two days. While I'm in Vegas, their cleaning crew's gonna come in. They're gonna clean this like it's never even happened. Everything else is fine, but we will run all the machines. We will check everything. I probably won't even be open until I get back from Vegas, and that's fine with me. I'll probably put a note on the door that will be open next week, but I would rather do that than have people get ripped off. So that's what the plan is. This is something you gotta be prepared for. And I can't turn this into insurance because right now that's only about maybe $5,000, $6,000 worth of damage. That would just raise my rates for nothing. So just part of the game, you're gonna have it happen. If you wanna avoid it, my suggestion on these 30 pound dryers is don't have 30 pound dryers. Have the biggest dryers you can buy. That's why at my other two laundromats, I have big, big dryers. Like the one on the end down there, that may never catch on fire because people will never overload it, okay? They'll get close, but they won't. The 75 pounders, they have, they, it's impossible for them to overload. I, I won't say impossible. I know there's people who are like, no, it's, it's possible. So far for me, people can't figure out how to do it. So 45 pound stacks, 55 single pockets, 75 single pockets, those are the poundages you want. You do not want 30 pound stacks, 30 pound individuals, 35 single pocket dryers. You wanna get rid of them. Trust me, those are the ones that are gonna burn on you because they overload them. Overloading is gonna be your biggest cause of headache. Overloading is a cause of headache on washers that aren't meant for it. So that's my advice on the dryers. I'm gonna get the rest of this video. I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, this is just part of it. I'm not too upset. I'm used to this. <laughs> I know that's sad, but it's part of the game. You're gonna have fires.